guys, it's Cascada Moon. So, in this video, I'm going to be doing a small witchy haul in the first part. And in the second part, I'm going to do an altar reveal um, because I guess it was last night. It all started with, um, I had this blank page in my book of shadows. I really wasn't sure what I was going to do with it because I left it blank on purpose because I have... <clears throat> space it space like everything I don't know I kind of didn't do it in order I did some stuff I just copied from my little traveling book of shadows but I left it blank because I thought about putting the wheel of the year there but I changed my mind on how I want to set it up I wanted the wheel of the year and then I wanted to do like the sap do each page for a sabbat um so that way it was kind of all together so that way I wasn't like flipping through like oh here's my will of the year and then you know all my sabbats are towards the back of the book so I was like well I'm gonna draw something now I used to draw a lot when I was younger I kind of stopped so my drawing skills aren't that great anymore I don't know if it's because I lost not the passion but I haven't really felt inspired. So I kind of had this thought in my head where I'm going to draw a fairy on a toadstool. And I had the image in my head and of course because my drawing isn't up to par as what it used to be, it didn't really come out that great. But what started as the fairy sitting on the toad toadstool turned into fairy symbols and I ended up writing a spell, which I'm actually gonna cast tonight during the full moon eclipse um actually i wrote this spell myself and i know in my other videos i said i wasn't going to show the book of shadows but i feel okay sharing this um because it's weird when i did this last night i was kind of like in the zone i was going to go to bed and then like all of a sudden i just got like this inspiration where i felt like the fairies were kind of calling out to me i have my little papers here for the fairy blessing um little offerings and stuff for the fate i did my research but the thing that inspired me to write the spells was i kind of did a google image search and i found these spells are uh, these symbols and i'm like oh those are cool so i'm gonna put them in and then i looked up what they were and i'm like oh you know, that's kind of neat that all this stuff I was drawn to because there was tons of things to do is actually things that I need in my life right now. Um, I drew a symbol for success, one for no conflict, and one for protection. So, this is the cover of my Book of Shadows. Wiccan read moon phases. I have a space where I'm gonna write it. But this is what I drew. A little fairy sitting on a toadstool. A spell. And then I drew a rose at the bottom and I drew these little vine thingies. But here's the symbol for success, for no conflict. And the symbol it is a fairy protection word. So when I was writing the spell, I'm like, well, I called upon the fairies, but I kind of, I needed a de deity, and I've had Freya try to reach out to me a couple of times, but she's not really associated with the fairies, and I haven't really gotten into this yet, but part of my <clears throat> family history is I have Celtic roots, um, I also have Nordic, and of few other things which explains why I'm drawn to certain types of magic like Celtic magic, Nordic. Um, I also have some North African which explains my draw to Egyptian stuff. So it's a Celtic goddess. She's the queen of the fairies from what I did on my research. She is the sun and moon goddess and all these other things. <clears throat> But her name is spelled A 
A-N-Y-A, but it's pronounced like Anya. Um, there's a few other ways, depending on where you would be at in Ireland at the time when the early Celts were worshipping her. So I'm going to do a spell tonight. I'm going to practice the spell tonight. But because I had the fae reach out to me, I'm going to be setting up an altar, which is part of the reason why I'm going to the hall. So first things, I'm like, well, I'm going to do this altar, but right now all my... I don't have I didn't have anything to put the altar on because right now all of my end tables are taken up um, I have two small black ones that like I could have put together but right now they're holding up the TV because we haven't put our TV stand together yet so I just got this it was six dollars at Walmart it is a table tray so I'm gonna put the altar on that but I'm gonna do the Dollar Tree stuff first and then Walmart now not all of this stuff is for the fairy altar some of it is for my regular altar. So Dollar Tree, they have their little fairy garden stuff set out, but I got this. Kind of need these. Throw this back in there. I got a little toadstool. Oh, can you get on the trash? I got this little pretty arch. Got this. It's like a little seat thing. Okay, so I got these two mirrors. One is going to be for my main altar, <clears throat> and the other one is going to be for the Fae altar, because fairies like shiny stuff. But one I'm going to use for a scrying mirror, and the other one is just going to be for the fairies. And this I got for the fairy altar. It's just a little pretty ceramic thing. You can put stuff in it. Mm. Oh, and I got these coasters. <clears throat> Four of them are for the house and one is for the Fay altar. This is the one I'm going to put on the Fay altar. I'm going to use it to put a candle on just because that tabletop that I got, it's not heat resistant. Those can go there. Okay, so that's it for bag number one. I don't want to break anything. Gently set it in here. Second bag. They have these cute little paper lanterns for an LED tea light candle. Um, I'm not going to put a candle under it right now, but I'm going to set it on the altar because like this is going to be a pretty fairy inspired altar. They have these little gold state Patrick's Day coins. I'm just going to keep them on hand. I'm going to set one on the altar maybe and the little ceramic dish as an offering. <clears throat> I got this little bird. I'm not sure if I'm going to put him on the fairy altar or if I'm going to use him for my spell tonight. I have like this little hanging thing. It's got a butterfly. Let me see if I can get it out of the bag. Because I'm going to put the fairy altar in my in that witchy room that I have slash office slash she cave. I'm going to put it by the window. I'm going to hang this up. 
and pretty. But yes, that'll definitely attract the fairies. Okay, I got these to go in one of those little sucking ball things, which I'm gonna show you in a second. They kind of bag all my stuff up weird. She seriously stuck my handle in there. It's a little hanging sucking thing, but I'm gonna set it down on the altar and I'm gonna put those rocks in it because fairies like pretty rocks. And I was gonna put succulents in it, but I can't find real ones right now. And Walmart had fake ones, but, and I was gonna get some until I picked it up and they had like all these warning labels and stuff on it about these toxic chemicals. So I was kind of like, eh, I don't really want that. This is gonna go on the fake altar in the back. Sorry, notification. This is gonna go in the center towards the back. I got this little guy. Not really sure where I'm gonna put it. I might put it on the Fey altar. <laughs> and fairies also are attracted to seeds. And Dollar Tree had seeds on sale for four for a dollar, which is a pretty good deal. So I got forget me nots. I got a perennial mix of wildflowers. I got a flower garden mix. And then I got a cottage garden wildflower mix. So I'm probably gonna put this one on the Fay altar for now. And then once it starts to get nice outside, I'm gonna go outside and I'm going to plant them. Alright. And so for the last cool thing that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, once I change my altar around, I'll probably put one of these, but I didn't even know that they had these, but they have these pretty fans. I got this one. I don't know if you can kind of see, but it's blue and white and it's got gold glitter around it and it has a pretty tassel on the bottom and a metal thing to hang it from. I got a couple of them. Got this one. which is black and red, but I'm gonna keep one in my purse because these are great for in the summertime. And then the other favorite one I got is this one, which is so pretty. It is black and purple. I love it. Sorry, I was feeling myself there for a second. And then I got some stuff at Walmart that Dollar Tree did not have. Okay, now for the stuff that I got at Walmart, they have these, if you go back in the craft section, they have these little squares that you can use for quilting or anything. But this is going to be my altar cloth. I got it. It's a roll of pretty turquoise. Felt kind of women's school for me. But they have solid colors and then they have pattern colors. Because that's actually the cloth that is on my main altar, the purple one. These are 18 inches by 21 inches and they are only 97 cents a piece. So, especially if you're on a budget, this is great. Oh, my other thing I forgot to show. Okay, so I didn't know that Dollar Tree had these, but they have chakra candles. This one is for the heart chakra. It smells really good. But this is going to go on the fairy altar, um, just because of like what the fairies represent. And I figured that the heart would be a good representation on the altar. But I didn't even know they had these. They have other ones. I did make a stop at Goodwill. But I don't like my local Goodwill just because they don't usually have a lot of stuff. 
and in the shopping center they're in uh there was a staples there and the staples closed so they moved from one part of the shopping center to another and when they moved into that shopping center they stopped using tags and they actually write on the stuff now with like crayons or like chalk pens or something because i went in there right after they opened and they had a i also collect antiques they had a few really pretty antique stuff and they ruined the antiques because they write on them with these markers well first they did sharpies so like if you have and it and some of the stuff they wrote like on it not like on the bottoms where you can hide it they actually wrote on the item so i mean if you have people that go to goodwill because they need stuff for the house because they can't really afford to go anywhere else and they might be able to find something there but they can't find a dollar tree you just ruined that item for these people and i was also going to look for i've seen people do these haul videos where they get these jars where it has jewelry in it, it might be like 20 bucks or whatever the price is but my goodwill doesn't have that so i have to go like 40 minutes away to go to any decent goodwills that actually use those that actually use tags and sometimes their tags can get stuck on stuff and they rip but yeah so i don't really like my goodwill and they even do it on books too and on furniture they have these little paper tags that they just tape on there but yeah i don't know why they don't use tags i don't know if they're too cheap to do it but they had like this plate that i was gonna get that was really pretty but they wrote on the back of it and i was like no because I'm, I'm not going to be able to get that off. Like, I mean, I know it's Goodwill. But, I don't know. It just ruins the items for me. Alright, so, back to the haul. Because I started doing more research with stuff. And I don't want to write stuff in my book of shadows. Like, just randomly. And I've been using a lot of my notepad for the stuff. So, I got this. Um, five subject notebook for like three bucks that you know when I do research I'm just gonna write it in here so that way like I can decide what I want to do like if I'm you know just for notes because I'm not gonna go and scribble notes in my book of shadows just because I'm a perfectionist um, I got pens from the Dollar Tree but I found out unfortunately in my book of shadows it's just a sketchbook I got from Walmart that the pens that I use they flee through they're like these ones so they're kind of like an ink pen they're like the ink pens that's almost like a fountain pen for a so I got these because I do like these paper mate pens because they're bold and that's what I want I don't want like the cheap ballpoint pen looking things but they're colored, so I'm probably going to use them once I get into putting stuff in the Book of Shadows, like for Yule and for the elements. So I got those. And then again, for notes and for putting stuff in the Book of Shadows, like if I mess up, I can erase and fix stuff. Um... But in the second part of the video is going to be my altar reveal for the fairy stuff. So, yep. Yeah. Give me one second and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm back for the second part of the video to show you the altars. Everything is already blessed, charged, and ready to go. I have this one set up for tonight. I have the chalice for Anya. I have the bird. I have some offerings for her, a little gold coin for the fairies, I have the rocks in here. All right, so I've already asked for the blessing of that goddess. And here is the fairy altar. I have everything set up, I have the candles burning. I already did the blessing for this. It's all ready to go for the fairies I have a little thingy hanging up up there I need to figure out some other place to put it so but yeah 
that's pretty much it. I might move some stuff around, but this is the fairy altar, a place where they can come in and feel welcome. I have a little bracelet there with some glass beads. I have the coin. I have a little toadstool with the houses, my chakra candle, the rocks, the seeds that I said I was going to put there. All right, so that is it. I hope everyone has a wonderful full moon. I hope everyone can get to see the eclipse. I will be staying up to watch it. I will be working on my spell at some point tonight. But I hope everyone, everyone has a blessed night. Blessed be. Thank you.